And now for something a little different. Here is FanCraft. It's Warcraft Orcs and Humans remade in the Unity engine. We'll go ahead and get started here. This is the mission, The Dead Mines, which we recently played, so quite fitting. Uh, user Kamos85 shared this in the MickCraft Discord. We're going to head into the Dead Mines, find Sir Anduin Lothar, who is looking for the Lost Tome of Definity. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here we are in the game. We are zoomed out a good yes, bit, and we have all of our units yes. in a at a much zoomed yes. out scale. Yes, higher friend. fidelity, more pixels available. You are able to toggle and upscale yes, in it, yes. uh, which is what I have yes. running here. I this is actually my second time or third time, I guess, yes. uh, trying to record this. Yes, I had some issues with my video capture capturing yes, the yes. game screen for some reason so hopefully it doesn't bug out this time but there's a lot of cool things that we'll get to see here as we fight the dreaded ogres of the dead mines and kamos 85 added a little bit of an extra twist for us as well um, along with some updates to how some of the units work so let's go ahead and bait out some of the ogres into a killing field here as we look for sir lothar yes yes my lord Yes, my lord. Run, footman, run. Yes, my lord. They're coming for us live. By the way, as we wait for them, so this is made in the Unity engine. A user that I've been following on X for a while, uh, Matt is his name. Uh, he's making a RTS called Fungal Front presently, and he's also actively uploading a YouTube series about how to make an, your own real-time strategy game utilizing the Unity engine. So I'll go ahead and include a link to that in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our clerics here. There's been a bit of a change to the way that they heal. It's more of an auto cast. Think like the Warcraft 3 priest who's auto casting small bits of heal. In default Warcraft Orcs and Humans, the cleric just does one giant burst of heal rather than these quick heal bursts. And I actually think that that might be a yes. potential way yes, that heal could be better yes. balanced in Warcraft 1. It is a little bit more powerful than yes. raised dead or unholy armor that the yes. orcs have access to. Um, you know, keeping your units yes. alive and rapidly yes. rejuvenating them before they're able to get killed by the enemy. It's quite frustrating for the orcs. Yes. So perhaps if there ever was to be a Warcraft 1 balance patch, yes. that could be a good way to do it. Um, Combo yes. 85 did yes. miss yes. the tall pixels. He apologized in the yes. uh, the Discord group chat about this, uh, just stating that he was not aware of the format at the time. Yes. Combo's no big deal, no big deal at all. Um, you know, tall pixels are nice so if we can add them in, maybe with a future patch. But obviously, if you didn't yes. know about them, it's it's really hard to tell without being intricately aware of yes. that from the first game. Um, obviously, Blizzard themselves missed it with the remaster. Yes, so here we go, working yes, through the dead mines. Yes, you will notice that there's these yes, little cave things here. Those are going to come into play later. Yes, this actually is a very yes, difficult rebalance yes, of the game. Yes. As you'll see, we've unlocked some yes. different... Yes different cheat codes up here, yes. which I actually I haven't played around with yet. I completely yes. get what no fog yes. is going to be. I wonder what player. No way. So you can play as the ogres. Well, that's pretty cool. And player three is Lothar and the wounded, and then back to player one. Well, that's quite cool. All right, wrong cleric. Interesting. Okay, this is cool. And look, we got vision on the enemy there. Okay. No fog, pretty obvious. Somehow reset the uh, music there. 1x, 2x. I guess I'm guessing that's the game speed. Okay. And go down to half. Kill units. Oh, rest in peace. No way to bring them back. Oh, I just destroyed my own units. Anyways, uh, 
<laughs> so well, what we missed out on there with that, um, yes. these caves as you're yes. bringing Lothar back out. Yes. Um, ogres actually do spawn from them, but yes, I, I did go yes, ahead and it, more or less showcase the main yes. elements of this that I wanted to get at. Um, you know, it is really cool yes, to see the game remade in other engines, yes. as we've seen with War 1 Gus, which I'm going to be getting into a little bit more later as well on the channel. Um, remaking Warcraft 1 in different yes. engines to add new abilities yes, like this and custom content. Yes, I actually, yes, I yes, think it's yes. quite cool to possibly, you know, play the mission as the ogres and see if we're able to put down a offensive with Tarox units. Tarok, of course, loves Griselda, Black Hand's daughter, and he resides down here in the Dead Mines. There we go, controlling the ogres. But anyways, guys, I'm Mick. This is Mickcraft. Hopefully this video turns out. I think I covered most of the points that I'd wanted to before. Didn't uh, get to show quite as much as uh, in the last run, but it, it does turn out really difficult with the added ogres and the ogres spawning from the from the caves there. So I'll, again, I'll include a link to this in the YouTube video description, um, along with Matt's uh, video series on how to make your own real-time strategy game in the Unity engine. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm Mick, this is Mickcraft. I'll catch you in my next mission.